Mrs. Metzola, thank you so much for your time. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you here in Riga. Yesterday we had uh, President Zelensky here. It was a very big uh, visit, very, very big event. We had a lot of messages from him and also our leaders. Promises, also questions how to help Ukraine more. Uh, could you please tell us, as European Parliament is a very powerful institution in, in Europe, how do you see at the moment how uh, ready you are uh, to continue to help Ukraine? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, I am very happy to be here uh, as I kick off with uh, Riga as my first city, uh, my what we are calling Get Out the Vote tour. Uh, working towards the European elections campaign uh, where Latvian citizens, as they celebrate 20 years of European Union membership, will choose who will represent them in the European Parliament. On Ukraine, we have been clear from day one, the 24th of February 2022, when Russia um, uh, commenced this illegal, unprovoked and unjust war against Ukraine, will go down as one of the blackest days of the European Union. And from the very first hours for the European Parliament, it was clear we were going to stand for as long as it takes with this country that is fighting a war for Europe, fighting for our values, for our principles, fighting for basic principles, territorial sovereignty, dignity. Two, days two years later, this very strong stance of the European Parliament has not wavered. Putin would have liked us to do that. He would have liked to take over Kiev in five days. He failed. Now is the moment, in a very difficult time, and as we heard President Zelensky here uh, make it very clear, and I would really like to thank Latvia and its people, its leaders, for not only standing with Ukraine, but being very much at the very lead of the pack of countries that has shown even more responsibility, because Europe knows no big or small countries, but it is really a country like Latvia, smaller than others, that has shown such leadership and responsibility. Next few months will not be easy. However, for us it is very clear. We have adopted an unprecedented number of packages of sanctions. We have opened accession negotiations with Ukraine, but they will need our help financially, logistically, economically, militarily. And that's where we uh, need to convince everybody around the table. We need to continue to convince our people that this is a cause that is not only worth fighting for, but needs to be fought for our own survival as a union. And I'm confident that with the leadership and unity we have found over the past two years, we could continue over this, past, over this next year. And you have personally been in Kiev uh, several times, if I'm not mistaken. Does it um, change people's uh, like people minds, attitude, feeling towards Ukraine if you see it with your own eyes? Absolutely. Uh, I was there just a few weeks after the uh, beginning of the invasion. Kiev was still um, surrounded. Uh, it was extremely you know, difficult to uh, enter a metropolis that was empty, that was under um, an, the most unfair situation, really, when another country decides to invade. Uh, and that is when I was immediately convinced. And it's not only me, anybody who goes there, who looks at our Ukrainian friends in the eyes, and you see the earnest way with which they are defending their country. It was the first time I met with President Zelensky, and that day, both with him and with in before the Verhofna Rada, um, the Parliament of Ukraine, that I said that us, as a parliament representing all European Union member states, and our people are directly elected to it, that we will not look away. And we have not looked away since. So absolutely going to Ukraine, looking at our friends' um, battle and helping them fight is really a cause worth having in 2024. Indeed, European Parliament elections approaching very fast. And of course, in this region here, especially in Latvia, we are looking uh, towards it with some kind of 
still um, not fear but uh, some worry because we would like that this attitude continues in the next uh, years as well. Yeah. Of course we can't, uh, we don't know how the elections will uh, end and who will win. But there are some uh, like uh, populist uh, movements and popularities in different countries. How do you feel? Uh, would next parliament uh, attitude towards the security uh, issues would remain the same? Is it, is it possible? Well, I'm, I'm going to make my very best to make sure of that. Uh, the reason why I am in Latvia, and I'm going to talk not only to the authorities of this country, but also to young people, is to encourage them to vote. This is not just any other democratic exercise. This is where Latvian citizens will choose who will be their representatives, who will be there standing up for them and say that the cause for Ukraine to win the war is one worth fighting for. If Latvian citizens don't vote, then they have no control over who will be the one sitting in that chair. In 2019, Latvia was among the countries where the lowest number of people voted. So my appeal to everybody who is watching us, to young people who look at Latvia and see the huge success that membership has been, look to the future and see how much more we could all be as European Union member states, then the European Parliament is where you start. Looking at politics and saying they are all the same or my vote does not matter is not the case. Your vote actually matters and you choosing who will represent you at the European Parliament will mean that you have a responsibility but also will have the comfort of knowing where Europe will go. Majorities are always difficult in the European Parliament but it is not about who wins and who loses but who can find that constructive pro-European pragmatic solutions to the biggest challenges. The past five years anybody looking at, the U at Europe will see has not been easy. We had a pandemic, we have a war, energy, inflation, migration with a hybrid um, migrant uh, um, uh, um, push very close to, our, to, to, this, to these borders. So I would really, and these are citizens who tell us only Europe can solve this. And Europe has done a lot, so why not give it a chance for the next five years? So my appeal is anybody watching us go and vote because your vote matters and you can actually make a difference. And I think this is a message we have to spread it here. Basically, that, that was my next question, how to convince people to vote, to say that Parliament is actually very important for us, for our security well, as well. The European Parliament uh, office uh, in, uh, in Latvia is, is very crucial for this. Uh, I am here um, because that's exactly what I want to do. My appeal will also be to my colleagues, members of the European Parliament and also candidates who are looking to run for the European Parliament elections to go around all parts of the country and talk to people. You know, perhaps what we have not done enough in the past is do that. Work on fighting misinformation, propaganda. There will be a lot of interest in making sure that our election does not succeed. But we need to fight against that. We have seen it in Europe, we have seen it over the past years, we have seen the role that could be played by Russia, but we have legislated in order for us, we have passed laws for this not to happen. But it also means that our people go out on Saturday the 8th of June and make their choice. Thank you so much, Mrs. Metzola. Thank you. Thank you.